Today we're looking at 1985 pennies that you shouldn't spend, especially if you find them from the bank or in a coin collection that you may have inherited, or maybe even a coin collection that you may have purchased, estate sales, wherever you get your coins. Look for these different types of mint errors that can give your pennies some value. All right, hopping right into it. 1985 Lincoln Penny. This coin has been broad struck, so that is a mint error. You can see that around the rim of the coin. It looks like it's kind of stretched out there. This coin is also graded by Annex, a coin grading company at a mint state 65 red. So that is the condition of the coin. This penny ended up selling for $31 at auction. So not super valuable, but it's a $30 penny. Next up is a very obvious type of mint error. It has a curved clip. Uh, so again, very noticeable, something like this, you're not finding it in pocket change, right? Uh, people would think uh, to take this out right when they see it. Uh, this coin ended up selling for $61 at auction. It is graded by NGC at a mint state 65 red brown. Moving on to a very obvious type of error. Again, a double strike taking place here on the 1985 D mint mark Lincoln cent. Now this coin has damage to it, so it doesn't have a grade, but it is authenticated as a mint error by NGC. And the coin only sold for around $30. So, you know, had this coin been in much better condition, uh, you know, the price would be much different. Uh, for an example, like this coin here, graded by NGC, this is a much nicer double strike. That second strike, 75% off center, and it's graded at a 64 red, uh, which made this coin sell for $94 at auction. And now here's a 1985 penny that sold on eBay as is ungraded. Something that you can look for on all of your coins, different dates, quarters, nickels, dimes, pennies, and so on. This coin has a very small die break there on the rim of the penny. You'll see that extra metal there. This is also referred to as a cud, die break cud, same thing. But this penny ended up selling for $23 as is, even in this condition. Speaking of die breaks or cuds, this one has a very large die break at the top of the penny. So typically the larger the die break, in most cases, the more the coin will sell for. In this case, the coin sold for $61 at auction and it is graded by NGC. Now here is a die break, a large die break taking place on the 1985 penny, but this time it's on the reverse of the penny, going through the word cent there. Now this coin sold for around $100, graded at a 66 red by NGC. So very, very nice die break there. Something to always look for on your 1985 pennies. Now this is the same case, uh, but we have a much, much larger die break here. Uh, it's in worse condition than the previous coin, but it sold for more money because of how large the die break is. So, graded by PCGS at a Mint State 64 Red Brown, this penny sold for $456 at auction, man. That is a very nice mint error there. Now, here is a penny that sold on eBay as is for $22. Again, I personally wouldn't have a coin in this condition graded, even though it is a mint error, um, unless you're just keeping it for your personal collection or something. Uh, but it's not really worth grading this to try to sell it. I would sell something like this in this condition just as is on eBay like this person did. You can see on the obverse of the coin, it was struck through a capped die. Uh, but you see that the reverse looks very normal. This coin sold for $22 on eBay. Moving on to a 1985 Lincoln Cent that has a very nice die clash. So you can see the pillars from the reverse uh, Lincoln Memorial. Uh, the reverse design of the Lincoln scent there coming through here on the obverse of the coin. Now that is a very nice die clash. Now some die clashes are not as, as noticeable as this, but this one is very, very noticeable. Um, so this coin ended up selling for $46 at auction, graded at only an AU58. Um, so, you know, had the grade been much higher, it could have sold for more money. Now this next coin, uh, you know, obviously we're not finding this in pocket change, but it is a 1985 Lincoln cent that is a foldover strike. Uh, so this coin ended up selling for $690 at auction. Moving right along to another 1985. Now this is the S mint mark that is the proof penny. So this is the penny that you will see in your 1985 proof sets. Uh, but this one does have a planchet lamination here on the obverse of the coin. You can see that there going through Lincoln's face onto the right side of the penny. This penny ended up selling for around $50 at auction, 
graded by PCGS. Moving right along to a 1985 D Met Mark Lincoln cent that was struck 75% off center. The error kind of speaks for itself, right? The coin was struck off center and this penny sold for around $60 at auction and then here's a different type of off center only struck 40 percent off center but the coin sold for around 70 dollars at auction graded at a 65 red by pcgs so you know off centers can be five percent off center you know 70 percent off center all in between you know so really depends on how off center the coin is uh you know what the date is the condition of the coin the grade of course which is the condition all those things come into effect uh, for the value. So here is a very rare mint error. This coin came out of a famous collection. It's graded and authenticated by PCGS and it is a double denomination. So we have a 1985 Lincoln cent that was struck onto a Roosevelt dime. So you can see both designs of the dime along with the Lincoln cent and this coin ended up selling for a little over $1,000. Next up, we're going to look at a few coins that have some partial plating issues. This first one here is uh, very unique looking here on the obverse of the coin and on the reverse of the coin. Uh, this penny ended up selling for $552 because of the partial plating error. Now this is also graded by PCGS as well. Now here's uh, one that sold on eBay for $50 ungraded as is. So. Personally, I would have it graded because, you know, the one that sold by PCGS at a 64 red brown, the last coin we looked at sold for over $500. This one, just $50 as is ungraded. Now, here is another plating issue, another partial plating uh, taking place on the 1985 Lincoln Penny. Graded by Annex, this coin ended up selling for $90 at auction. And then here is another partial plating. This coin sold for $780 at auction, graded by PCGS at a Mint State 64 Red Brown. That is a very unique type of mint error for sure. I don't know. I personally wouldn't pay $780 for it. If I'm going to pay that for a coin, it's going to be something, I don't know, maybe like a double strike or, you know, of course, maybe a really nice silver coin uh, that I need for my collection, but... I'm not really too into partial platings, but some people are, and that's what, you know, that's why it sold for, you know, nearly $800. Now, here is a penny from 1985 that was uh, struck onto an unplated planchet. So, you do not see the copper coloration to it as a result of that. This coin ended up selling for $384. So, always pay attention to your pennies because you never know what you may find out there. Uh, inspect your coins closely, especially if you guys are inheriting coin collections or if you purchase coin collections, you know, estate sales, wherever you get your coins. Inspect those coins very closely because you never know what you can find. And don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Feel free to check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles and this is where I disappear.